When the user adds a claim, we need to configure an action flow that provides a simple pop-up dialog that captures the information about that claim. When they click the Action Flows Finish button, which we'll rename to Create Claim, it'll invoke the Claim Create and Relate to Policy Statements process. Select the User Interface tab. Expand the Folder UI node and right-click on Claim. Then select New Action Flow. For label, enter AF underscore claim policy. Normally, we'd label an action flow with a name that has a meaning to the end user, like create claim and relate to policy. The action flow label becomes the title on the action flow dialog. For the data contract field, click the selector button. Then scroll down to and select stateless process claim and relate to a policy. That's the stateless process that we just created in the last section. Then click Finish. For number of steps, leave the value set to 1 and then click Finish. Select the Data tab. Click the green Add Entry button and add an input called Policy underscore ID. Also, add an entry called Vehicle underscore ID. The Vehicle ID isn't essential, but when the action flow is invoked, we want the option to pass it a pre-selected vehicle from the Edit Policy page. Now select the Step 1 Claim tab. In the Layout tab, add a column box widget that can act as a container for the other widgets. Remove the title and delete the first column. since we only need a single column of widgets. Select the column box column, expand the interactions tab and add a new interaction. Select RTQ vehicles related to a policy and then click finish. With the RTQ vehicles related to a policy interaction instance selected, in the properties pane Make sure to check the On Page Load checkbox so that the list will be populated when the action flow loads. Then select the Inputs tab. In the column on the right, double click the default page of Claim.id. In XCP Designer, the object ID of the claim was automatically selected for us. However, we don't want the Claim.id. We need the input to be the ID of the policy that was passed to the action flow. So in the selector dialog, in the top pane, scroll down to and select AF Claim Policy Inputs. And in the bottom pane, select Policy underscore ID. And click OK. We're done with the Interactions pane for now, so let's collapse that. Now let's drag a Date Time Input widget into the column box. In the Properties pane, change the ID to incident underscore date and change the label to incident date since this is a date time widget and we only need the date without the time let's select the style tab so we can change it to date only under the format section on the right for date style select date only then go back to the general tab now add a text widget for incident location and add a number input widget for amount. Scroll the properties pane down and change the data type to float. We need a drop down list widget to list the vehicles related to the policy. We'll configure this widget so that the list initially contains a list of all the vehicles related to the policy but if a vehicle ID value is passed to the action flow, then it will be the default selection. So at this point, scroll the Properties pane down and select Data Service Instance. And select RTQ Vehicles Related to a Policy. 
Now I'll scroll back up and for initial value click the expression wizard button. Then in the top pane navigate to and select AF claim policy inputs. And in the bottom pane select vehicle underscore ID. Then click OK. And scroll the properties pane down again to set the value to object ID. Then for the display property select VIN. Now we need to add a checkbox widget for the vehicle and motion attribute. Set the initial value expression to true, then scroll down to the checkbox text property and clear out the text. So we're done with the UI for step one, so let's save the step one tab. Then select the AF Claim Policy tab. We want to configure the Action Flow's Finish button label to Create Claim. Then scroll down to and expand the Interactions pane and select Stateless Process Claim Create and Relate to a Policy. In the Properties pane, select the Inputs tab and expand the Variables node. This is where we get to assign the values that get passed into the process variables. So double click the V underscore Amount variable. In the top pane, navigate to and select AF Claim Policy Steps AF claim policy underscore step widgets and then amount. In the bottom pane select value then click OK. For V underscore cabinet double click it then select the parameters tab and in the bottom pane select param underscore default underscore location Remember that the process can't transfer the value of the param default location application parameter directly. So we use this indirect approach by transferring it through the v underscore cabinet process variable. Click OK. Double click v underscore incident underscore date. In the top pane, navigate to and select AF claim policy steps. AF claim policy step widgets and incident date. In the bottom pane select value. Then click OK. Double click V underscore incident underscore location. In the top pane navigate to and select AF claim policy steps AF claim policy step widgets and incident location. And in the bottom pane select value. Then click OK. For the V underscore policy underscore ID process variable, double click it. Then in the top pane, navigate to and select AF claim policy inputs. In the bottom pane, select policy underscore ID. Then click OK. For the vehicle ID process variable, double click that. Navigate to and select AF claim policy inputs. In the bottom pane, select vehicle underscore ID. Then click OK. And finally, for the V underscore vehicle in motion process variable, double click that. Then in the top pane, navigate to and select AF claim policy steps, AF claim policy step, widgets, and vehicle in motion and in the bottom pane select value and then click OK. Now we're ready to save the AF claim policy artifact. Check the problems tab for errors. Now we can close the action flow tabs.